Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Meredy and I am here with our third layout using the Limoncello Sorbet kits. And today I'm going to use our May sketch of the month, which I printed out right here. And I'm gonna leave on my work surface while I'm working so you, we can refer back to it um, while we're working. So I think I will just jump right in and show you what else I'm working with. I'm gonna set the sketch off to the side for a second. And I'm working with three pictures of my son. Let me get this out too. Okay, I'm working with three pictures. I have one four by six and two three by four pictures. And as you can tell, I actually made this sketch with these pictures in mind this time. Usually I don't do that, but this time I did. So I'm just gonna trim each of the pictures down a little and they're gonna hopefully fit across like that. And then I pulled a few pieces of ephemera out of the um, kits. I pulled this tag, was from the Cut Apart. This tag was from the Cut Apart. Um, a Day to Remember, this tag was from one of the ephemera packs. A little tab here, another tab, another mini tag, and let's go. So I pulled those things out as embellishments that I thought matched these pictures well, just like right off the bat. And then these are the things that I didn't use on my last few layouts that I thought I might use. So I'm gonna kind of go through these and see, I really like the good vibes. So I'm gonna keep that out. We're not at the beach, so I don't need beach day. That can match. Soak up the sun, I don't really feel like I need. Sunshine, I don't need any flowers. Maybe I'll use a few of these little guys. I really love those. I'm gonna end up using them all up um, in my layouts, I have a feeling, this month. Okay, then I've got sunny, happy place, sunny days, happy getaway. I've got some alphabet, uh, alphabet thickers that I can use, puffy letter stickers. I've got a bunch of these. That I can use. I'm not gonna cut them apart yet. I'm gonna see what I need and then the rest of these. Ooh, vacay vibes. It's kind of cool. What does this one say? Good vibes? Well, I kind of like vacay vibes better because we are on vacation. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out. I like it better than good vibes. Okay, I've got my distress markers, my sequin mix. I've got a few scraps of paper, which it's just a few strips, really. There's not, there's not too much there. This was packaging, but it's um, grid paper, so I've got that in case I need it to layer up behind anything. And then I love this paper so much. So I've got this sheet of paper, let's take this on the back. I've got this wood grain paper. And then I've got these cut aparts. Let's see if I can use any of these cut aparts right now. I think I'm gonna run out of space on this layout with all these tags and such to really take advantage of these cut aparts. Maybe I can use the back side. we'll see. Okay, I'm going to start with a white sheet of paper as the base of my layout, but as you can tell on this, um, I matted, my, my sketch is matted. It shows that there's, you know, a mat underneath. So I'm wondering if I should mat it on this green and blue striped side of this paper. Hmm. Let me cut the branding strip off of here first. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim my white paper, my white background paper down because it's going to get matted on something, even if it ends up being just a piece of solid cardstock from my stash. I'm still going to mat it on something. But this way I can kind of tell I'm cutting about half of an inch off of two sides. But this way I can kind of hold it here and see if I like it matted on the stripes. And 
Mm, it's gonna bother me really bad that the green stripe is on the top and it's a blue stripe on the bottom or a green stripe on the left and a blue stripe on the right. So I do not like it matted on that piece. But I wonder if I could mat it on this. If I do that, I am gonna kill every single one of these cut aparts all around the whole thing. So I would rather not do that either. Like I won't be able to use them if I cut, if I mat the picture, the page on that. So I think I'm gonna get a piece of cardstock at the very end, after I get this layout totally put together, I'll see what color I like best and I will put a colored cardstock under it. It looks kind of cool matted on that, but you can't really read anything. So I'm not gonna do that either. So I think I'll grab a piece of cardstock at the very end and that way I can pick the color that looks best with this layout to decide to map my entire layout on. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and trim my pictures down because they obviously do not all fit across my white paper like this. So I'm, I can trim this one a lot. Like I didn't cut anything important off of that one. There's my little note with my date. I can trim this one a little tiny bit, not very much. And I really like the palm trees. I don't want to trim that away. And then I can trim this one a little bit. Both sides, but not too much because I don't want to lose. Um, I like them this direction because this is darker right here. And so this is lighter. Whereas if I put them like that, it's like light, 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 dark, dark, dark. I kind of like it like that too, though. Hmm. Nope, I think I like them like this. Okay, now, they're still a little wide for this background paper. If I want to mat them, like it's showing in the picture. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit more off. It doesn't take away from it at all to trim a little more off of that one. And I might not even mat them. I might just leave them. We'll see. Okay, so I've got one color of paper across the top in the back and another color of paper across the bottom in the back. Uh, my initial thought was to put this paper with all the words across the top. Let's see how that, let's see how it looks across the bottom though. Oh yeah, I think it's way too busy across the bottom because this paper is so busy. Let's see if I put it across the top and this across the bottom. It's still kind of a lot. Hmm. I think I wanna put, do you see how there's rips in here? I think I just want to put this paper behind the rips. And I wonder if I can just leave this actually white paper. I think I'm going to do that, guys. So my top portion of the layout right here, I'm going to use this wood grain paper. So I'm going to cut it about four inches. Is that big enough? Four and a half inches. So I'm cutting this four and a half inches tall and 12 inches wide. And then I'm gonna have to cut it a half of an inch shorter. So it's only 11 and a half inches across because my white paper is, is cut so that it will mat on a solid piece of cardstock. Okay. Now, do I want it that way or this way? I'm just deciding how I want this little piece that has the more distressed color on it. I think I like it better on this side. Okay. And I am going to have to tear down a chunk right there so that I can make this pattern with all the words show in the back. So I'm going to tear towards me so the white core shows and just tear out a chunk of this just like that 
And if I want, I can get this a little wet and kind of roll this tear back. We'll see in a second if I want to do that. So now I just need a little piece of this paper to go under there. I'm going to go ahead and cut like, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and cut three inches off of this paper, just a three inch wide strip off of this paper. And then up here, I'm just gonna make sure it's big enough to go behind my little cutout. So, that's all I need. And then I will adhere it back. But before I adhere it, I'm gonna make sure I might want to tear, or I mean, roll this paper down. So let's get a little further here. That looks good so far. And then I'm gonna take a tear out of the bottom, like it's right there. I'm gonna do this the same way that I did the tear out of the top. And just pull towards me. And I'm deciding what words I want to show. Okay. I don't think that I need to curl the paper and get it wet. I think I'll just, you know what, I am gonna do that. So I'm going to use my little mini mister gonna get rid of all these things so they don't get wet. I'm gonna use my mini mister and just get the edge wet so that I can just roll this paper back. Since the edge is wet, it makes the paper roll really nicely to fold it back up on itself. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this little bit. desk and I'm going to roll this paper back so instead of being like the white core showing now it's showing the B side of this paper is sticking out I can go ahead where's my little piece piece and now I can adhere this to the back of there so I'll just put a little bit of tape here and get this all lined up correctly. Okay, and then that backs that paper. And I can go ahead and adhere this across my whole entire paper as well. Okay, we've got that. And then I can go ahead here and adhere this how I want it as well. So I will just put a little tape around the back side. and make sure the exact parts that I wanna be sticking in there. Cause I wanna read vacation beach day, soak up the sun. And then I can go ahead and trim off this excess bit of paper that I don't care that much about. Now I've got that nice patterned paper peeking out the bottom. Sometimes um, the patterns of paper like this one are just kind of overwhelming for me to use as the entire background of my layout. So then I like, this is perfect to me. I love it like this. Now, I think I wanna use a little bit of Distress um, Crayon and just put a little bit of ink down here, or not ink, but color down there. I wanna use it like watercolor. I'm gonna get an old piece of packaging. This is just like an old piece of plastic that um, like an ephemera pack or something came in. So this is just trash, but I'm going to use it like almost like a paint palette right now. The color that I want to use, hmm, I think I need, I think I want to use blue down here. So I'm going to color it on my packaging. You can use a glass mat if you have a glass mat for this, but I'm just using this. And then I will get my paintbrush to mix that around, actually. 
Okay, there, it's mixed around pretty good. And I'm going to try this. I saw Lacey do this particular technique in her live video last month. And what she did is she took one paper or one piece of plastic and like smooshed it on the layout. And I just wanted a little bit around this area. That looks kind of cool. I've never tried it, tried that before, but I like watching um, her process, her live Facebook live videos and doing that. So she makes a Facebook live video once a month in our Not Just For Boys Kit Club community Facebook page. And she teaches me all sorts of fun things. So if you're not part of that Facebook group, you might want to join us. Um, I will link it in the description of this video. I'll link everything that I talk about and use in the description of this video today. Okay, I've got that. Now, on my back to my sketch. I'm working pretty closely with the sketch as it is. I do want to put a piece of pattern paper across the bottom right there. Not this one, though. And not this stripes. No, no more stripes. I don't need any more stripes. You know, I might just want to use cardstock, like a solid color of cardstock, because there is a lot going on here right now. So let me go get, I think I'm going to grab a yellow color of cardstock out of my stash and just use that as that background piece. Okay, I just grabbed a little scrap of yellow that I had in my stash because I just want it to peek out a little bit. So I'm gonna cut it about four inches wide and it is about six inches tall. Okay. That's just a little pop of color and I'm gonna cover this up a lot because I have all these tags and things to use. So I just need some, a little bit of color under there to ground this. Then I've got in my sketch, I've got a couple little strips of paper down here and I think, do I wanna use the same pattern again? Maybe not. I have this left over from the last layout that we made. That could be nice. I kind of like this one better. And I've got that little one. I think I'll use those. I think I am gonna get this little piece out to use down here. And maybe a little yellow. I'll keep those out to use at the bottom. Okie doke. Let's see what we've got. I think I can cut this right about there. That's maybe six and a half inches long. I think I should have used a taller piece of yellow right there. That's okay. I'm going to cut this one about eight inches long and I'm going to attempt to tear the bottom off so it is a torn edge because that's what it shows in the sketch. I've got those. And then I'm going to come in and worry about these tags. I'm gonna get all these tags uh, cut nice and even and trim the corners off and hole punch this hole with just a quarter inch regular old office hole punch. So I'm gonna do that to these two tags and I will be right back when I'm done with that. Okay, now, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use these tags. This one is a little bright. I wonder if I could put it partially up there and partially down here. This is hard with everything still moving around. And I still haven't decided if I'm gonna map my pictures yet or not. 
Um, I think I do need to mount my pictures. I think I'm gonna mount them on one piece of paper and I think I'm gonna grab a really light blue piece of paper out of my stash to mat these three pictures on. This is gonna help in a couple of ways. Once I mat these three pictures on one sheet, I can cut this yellow piece apart and scooch part of it down so it isn't so short. So let me get these three matted and I'm gonna leave them all together as one long strip. I'm not gonna cut them apart from each other. So it's just gonna be one long um, strip of photos on my layout. And I'm gonna keep this paper with my kit because it matches pretty good. So I can use it on another layout if I need. Okay, now I what I was saying is I can cut this in half and slide the top up and the bottom down as much as I need to. So that piece looks, it's the illusion that it's behind the whole thing, even though it's not. So I can make the bottom longer or shorter. And I think right now I need to adhere my pictures and adhere those. I know I want these on here somehow. I know I want this yellow paper and I know I want this one. And I think it's pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna kind of adhere it where it is. So much easier for me when things are adhered, but I also don't wanna adhere things too soon because if I need to tuck bits and pieces underneath. I think I'm gonna need to cut this off, it's real long. Got it. Now I can decide how I want this tag to go down here. For this tag, I've got lots of tags to decide for down here. That one's too big. This one is looking good. Okay, so that tag can go down there for that. Then I really love this one, so I think I am gonna cut it and just let part of the top show out. Maybe, hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut about two inches off the top of this so that I can mess around with it as I need to. I don't like it up there. I definitely like it here. I think this little blue tag, there's a little piece right here. Let's use this orange. I'm just gonna start trying to lay out pieces in accordance with my sketch. Let's go. Let's see, I've got vacay vibes up here. Got some little scraps down here. Do I want yellow down there? I like the yellow on the bottom. A day to remember. very boxy looking to me right now. I'm not liking that. Hmm. These are just pieces that I had, this is just a piece that I had left from one of the other layouts. I don't know that I like this up there. Hmm, this is a hard one. This is giving me fits.
Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these down because I like them down there. And just give my eye a break from up there where it's not working. Okay, I do not like this up here. That I might like better. Like that. trying to add some other colors because there's a lot of color in this. Maybe when I look back through the ephemera, I can find a color title to go here. And let's see, do I want a starfish? Of course I have some starfish on my um, sketch. sure if I'm liking those. We'll have to see. I don't think I like, I don't think I like this floral print on here. I think that's part of the problem. So I'm just going to scooch that over. We'll use that on another layout. I don't think this tag is ever going to fit on here. I don't think it's ever gonna fit. So we'll move that out of the way. Let me just get to what I'm really working with here. I think I'm not gonna use the second half of this. Now I have all kinds of embellishments that I can come in and add right now. I've got some fun things here. So let's look for a title to go up here first. So we're not gonna use good vibes because we've already got vacation vibes. Happiness, adventure. Let me just cut some of these out. Sunny days is kind of cool. It blends right into the yellow. The adventure pops out nice. Getaway is kind of a good one. Let's see how this looks. Whoa. Um, hmm. It does bring in this, these two papers pretty good. I'm not sure if I love it though. Oh, I like happiness. like that. I've got these that I could use. Memories, remember this, going places. What happens when I do this? Eh, no, the happiness looked better. I like this, remember this. And then we've got all of these. I'm not sure that this remember this actually fits anywhere. Remember this. Happiness. 
possibly. Maybe not. I don't think I like that. Okay, then we've got, this is pretty cool. I feel like I'm going to need to adhere down some of the things that I have so I can add some of this in. So I'm going to start adhering down these tags because I think I like the way this is coming together so far. And I think I'm going to be able to work with it just like this. I'm going to go ahead and pop this Let's Go up on foam tape. Okay, and I think I can adhere this. I am gonna put the VK Vibes and Happiness down, but um, I think I need to put some of these down first. I'm gonna move the sketch since we're kind of not using it much anymore. Okay, Palm Tree Paradise. I think I can put right up on foam tape right there at the bottom. I think I can put this little to the beach sign wedged in there. I think I'm going to use this little turtle down here. Okay, I'm gonna try to just get down what I have here and then see if I feel like I still need more things. I do not like this title. So I am going to remove it and figure out a different title. Okay guys, I had a little problem. Um, I thought I was uh, recording and I was not. So what I had said in the last few minutes was that I had to take a little break. I went and worked the book fair at my son's school. I gave this a rest because it wasn't working out with that title that had said happiness and the rainbow colors, it wasn't showing up. And I went back into my ephemera and I pulled out a few things. I brought back in this little piece right here and I wedged it up underneath here. And unfortunately, I already adhered all of this down because again, I thought I was recording and I was not. So I adhered this down. I put a little foam tag from the um, Coast to Coast thickers right here that says, let's do what we love. I adhered the two starfish down. I went ahead and I changed the title to read Adventure and Joy is in the Journey. Those two were from the foam thickers as well. And then I adhered this little starfish down. And uh, then I went, I decided... You know, I have this ephemera. This is, as you guys know when you are watching my videos, I usually have like a little um, clear envelope like this with every video that has my pictures in it and a few pieces of ephemera in it that I had pulled from all the things that come in our kits. So I have a bunch of ephemera in here that I didn't pull necessarily for any particular layout. It's just a lot of pieces that are still left. So I want to go ahead and look through here and try to see if maybe there's like a tiny little something that can add into this little um, embellishment cluster up here. Like this tag is just too big. Some of these things are too big to add in this layout, but maybe there's something in here that like a geotag or something cool. I like that geotag. I, I maybe can cover up the flower because I don't really care for the flower, but maybe I can find something little to cover up the flower. Um, just something in here to kind of spice up this top cluster up here because I still feel like something's a little bit missing up there and we can just look through this together. Um, I'm going real fast. Not the keys. I feel like this cluster down here is really good. I don't feel like I need to add anything to it. So I'm not that worried about that bottom one. And I really think I just need something little. Not necessarily a flower or a butterfly, more flowers. The sun is kind of big. 
but I could stick them underneath a lot of layers. How much can I wedge them in here? We'll see. Oh, there's a globe. I wonder if this would even show up though. No, you can't even really see that. And you, you can't really tell it's a globe either on that on all that pattern. So I'm trying to think what else I might have said a minute ago when it was not recording. But I think I pretty much told you everything that was important. I'm gonna try to cut this sun. I don't really care for its face. So I kind of like the sun sticking out there though. And I don't think I need this bottom part of it anywhere. This is too big. I'm not gonna add that. I'm just gonna stick that little sun peeking out there. And then I think I wanna add a few little splatters to this layout. Um, what color should I add? Oh, I still need to back this layout as well on a sheet of cardstock because it's not on a 12 by 12 sheet. Maybe I should back it on the same color cardstock that I used to mat my pictures. I think that could look really nice. So I'm gonna go get another sheet of this cardstock right here to mat it on. I think that looks great. Of course I have to gut it so I can save the inside of this paper to use for another layout. And now I can adhere this right into the mat. Okay guys, I'm almost done minus the splatters and I think I'm just going to use a little bit of this Distress Oxide Tumble Glass to splatter because I have it. It's right here. I'm going to cover up my pictures because as you all know I don't do that sometimes and then I constantly get my pictures covered with splatters and I don't want to do that. Okay, I think this is good for the splatters. None of it's on my photos, which is a good thing. And I think I will be done with this layout finally. Um, sometimes when things are giving me problems and just not matching, like stepping away is just what you have to do. So I'm glad that I had to go work the book fair and I could take a few hours off of looking at this layout and then when I came back I was able to really focus and try to figure out how to finish off those two embellishment clusters. I'm going to add a little more glue to this guy but other than that this layout is going to be done and if you were inspired by this layout either to use your limoncello kit or to use supplies in your stash to create a layout similar to this one we would love to see it on our Not Just For Boys Kit Club community group. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with another process video using this kit. Um, let me just pull in the sketch here so you can see the sketch alongside of the finished layout. Okay, thanks guys, bye.